What's up gamesters? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video and today we are doing something completely off brand, out of pocket. Zoe got me these LED lights to go on the bottom of my car a year ago for my birthday and I have yet to put them on because I was intimidated and I didn't know how because I have to do it through like the hood of my car. It has to attach to the battery and I don't know anything about cars but I was talking to some of my teammates over the weekend and I've been inspired. So today we are putting the lights on under my car. I have a 2018 Jeep Compass. I put the towel down so I don't lean up against any pollen and gross stuff. And if you didn't know, this is the battery. I didn't know that. And this little thingy, come on comes off like that so something else I didn't know was like what a ground wire was and or like a grounding source so essentially I'm going to connect the black wire to this one and the red wire to this one this is the wire that I'm talking about so apparently this black wire right is goes to ground and then the red wire is what goes to the power source. And I don't know if you can see, but that little thing right there is the wire, but it's not enough to wrap around the piece of metal. Um, so you need to strip the like rubber. So I went to the hardware store and I got a stripper and it even came with some like connectors so it's not so janky I'm a little nervous because I've never done something like this it doesn't even fit it's too small oh I got it I have no idea what I'm doing I think you just pinch and pull oh I did it I'm gonna do a little more yeah, just a little. Pinch and pull. Now the connector wire. Pinch and pull. Nice! I'm getting better at that. Um, now I got these thingies, which is what's going to go around the bolt. So I've got this little thingy. I'm going to connect it to the black thing, the wire. I think all you have to do is pinch it. What the heck? Right there. A little, little crimp. Action. Oh, Damn it. That's right. We got this. Put it right there. Damn. It's okay. We're not getting mad. We're not getting all right, we're getting there. Okay. That was on the wrong one. They're supposed to be color coded, but I accidentally just put it on the same thing. That's okay. This is the second one. Hopefully this goes a little bit smoother. It's actually pretty frustrating when I, I called the um, hardware store yesterday being like, this is what I'm trying to do. I don't know how to do it. The guy, I don't think he was trying to be a jerk, but it just came off jerky. He was like, well, what you're trying to do is actually pretty basic and simple. And I'm like, well, clearly it's not to me because I don't know what I'm doing and I've never worked with cars. And so he was like talking, saying some of these terms, like the ground. And I was like, I don't know what that means. And maybe that's like silly of me. But you know, like, how do they... It's like you've never done something before. You can't really expect someone to do that. Okay. They're pretty janky, but, uh... I don't really trust my, um... crimping skills. So, I grabbed some electrical tape that I'm just gonna put around the ends to make it a little bit more 
secure. Now I'm going to use this wrench to get the bolts off. I don't have the right um, wrench for this. Oh no. Oh come on, I'm strong. Um, well I'm supposed to be able to take that off and I'm struggling. Ugh. Okay, this isn't working. I'm gonna go see if I have a different tool. I found a bigger wrench. Bigger must mean better. <laughs> so we're gonna try this one. Oh, yes. Yes. Amazing. I just need enough room to, this one's the ground wire, right, black, to put that under there. Okay, that one's in there. Tighten it back up. Okay. Um. There. Okay. One wire down. Another one to go. I'm low key so scared to be working on a battery right now. Like, will I get zapped? Are you kidding me? <sighs> the freaking thing just fell off. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, screw this guy. And we're going to strip more of the wire and we're just gonna wrap that around where it's supposed to go. So I think, I mean, this higher. I don't care at this point. The whole thing's spinning, that's not great, but whatever. Oh, come on. break we had a moment but we're back now I was able to just unscrew well I was able to get like stick the ground wire underneath the screw that I was using it's a little loose now but whatever and I just loosened up the wire for the the red wire I don't know what that's called but we're gonna shimmy that in there. Oh, come on, please, please just work for me. It's in there. Tighten this bad boy up again. Whew. So, that's what we're working with. Um, that's the one I had trouble with, and then that's the one I just did. So now, I just need to lead this wire down through the bottom. Before I do all the work to bring this down, I thought it'd be a good idea to make sure it actually worked. So I got the lights, I've got the connector. Okay. Whew. We're just gonna, I'm not gonna turn the car on on, but I'm gonna press the battery on. And uh, I guess we'll see if the lights turn on. I'm so nervous. Okay, car battery's on. Um. The lights are not on. I hear the 
hear a humming noise and that kind of scares me, but it's okay. Maybe we just need to turn them on with the remote. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. No! Also, do you hear that noise? Is that normal? Guys, I got it! It's glowing! No remote. Ready? Don't believe me? We're gonna go to blue. Ooh! And now orange. Ah! I did it! Oh my god. Okay, you're probably like, Jenny, how'd you do it? Because it wasn't working. This is what I had to do. I moved the ground wire from that one to that one and I jerry-rigged it with electrical tape. I just don't think it was a secure connection on that one. And so yeah, now we have it. <sighs> I, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, I was getting a little upsetty spaghetti. So now we just have to put the lights on. So like I said, I'm gonna thread that, this wire, down through here and clean up the bottom of the car with some acetone, stick the lights to it, hook it all up, and uh, we should have working LED underglow. I didn't record me putting the lights on just because um, it was boring, but I'm gonna see if I can show you. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see, but they're under the car. Uh, there you go. It's a better angle. So I got one over there, one over there, one at the back, and then one at the front. So now we don't want these wires dangling. So I'm going to pull this, which is the connector to all the under wires in the car, up through. And then they gave me a bunch of zip ties. So I think I'm just gonna try to like zip tie them all together. I already zip tied the first one up here and there's a spot right there in this area that I think will be able to, oh, just kidding, that seems like the belt. But this is plastic, so I'm just gonna try to put them next to a plastic area, maybe up around here. That seems like a good spot. So I finally got it all hooked up. <laughs> A little messy, but you know what? It's what did my best, and it's all out of the way. I don't think it'll get caught on anything. If you look under, oops, if you look under the car, there's no wires that are dangling, and that's really what I was worried about. So, in here, I can always clean this up later. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna turn it, the car on one more time to see if it works. Um, I'm a little nervous that the passenger side and the back ones aren't working, but you know, I did it. And I feel accomplished. Just turned the battery part on. Oh. Is that lighting up? Don't look it. If I turn it on. Oh, come on. Why won't it work? I'm getting so defeated. I don't understand. I literally did everything right. Okay, so it's been a few days and I'm pretty sure the last time I recorded, um, the lights weren't working, but I just reset the, the remote and now they're working. So I was so stressed that I didn't have like a clean connection. I just need to reset the remote. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm happy.
another little update. I unfortunately tested positive this morning for COVID and that really sucks. Hey bud. But um, the worst part about it is that I can't go to rugby practice. And <laughs> since joining Beantown a year ago, I haven't missed a single practice. And I took a lot of pride in that. And I know I'm not like skipping, like I'm sick. I can't go, I shouldn't go. So it just sucks to know that they're there working hard and uh, getting coaching and I'm in Maine. But you know, it is what it is. We will make the most of it. I've still got stuff I can do. I was also on a roll work-wise, like I was really busy with clients and sessions and all of these things, but uh, we're just gonna, like I said, make the most of it, try to get as much work done as we can at home. Yeah, we're just gonna try to stay busy. Cause I don't feel that, I don't feel super sick. I know I sound kind of sick, but honestly, the more active I am and the more I've been moving around, the better I feel. The moment I kind of start to just lay around and sit around and get, get all junky. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video and coming along my little uh, underglow journey for the Jeep. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.